To make it to the top in any sport, athletes need to train hard, eat right, constantly evolve their strategy, and use every advantage they can get. Except sometimes, they take competition too far and end up breaking the rules to get ahead, tarnishing their achievements and tanking their reputations in the process. Here are 10 athletes who got caught cheating. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe so you never miss out. Number 10, Sammy Sosa. Sammy Sosa was at the top of baseball success and fame in the late 90s and early 2000s. The seven-time All-Star player scored 609 home runs during his 18-year career, so it's easy to see why he was so popular. That was until he was caught using steroids. But it doesn't stop there. Sosa just kept on cheating. In 2003, he got caught for using a modified bat with a cork center for faster swings. And his cheating was exposed when his bat shattered, leaving the cork in plain view for everyone to see. Number 9. Antonio Margarito In boxing, gloves help protect both the puncher and the opponent getting punched. Hand wraps help support the fingers, knuckles, and wrists, while the pads help prevent cuts. However, the size of gloves and their weight make a big difference in how hard athletes can hit and how much damage they can cause. Flashback to 2009, when officials noticed a wet substance inside of Margarito's gloves. His wraps were confiscated and after review, it was found that he used plaster of Paris to harden his wraps and make his punches hit like bricks. Number eight, Tom Williams. Rugby's rules state that a player who has been substituted can't be put back into the game. That is, unless a player receives an injury that causes bleeding. So in an event known as Bloodgate back in 2009, the Harlequins cheated their way around this rule when coach Dean Richards gave Williams a fake blood capsule to bite down on so they could pull a swap for an already subbed player. Williams and his team lost the match anyway, and he was hit with a four-month ban. Number seven, Rosie Ruiz. This next one sounds more like a cartoon than a real-life sports scandal. In 1980, Ruiz won the Boston Marathon with a remarkable time of just over two hours, 30 minutes, beating her previous best by a whole 20 minutes. She almost set a record with her time too. However, people noticed she didn't seem tired at all. Turns out, she only ran one mile out of the 26-mile race and instead casually took the subway and rejoined near the finish line. Number 6. Diego Maradona Whether you call it football or soccer, the sport is one of the biggest in the world with a long history and avid fans. So you can imagine the controversy that stemmed from Maradona's play during the 1986 World Cup quarterfinal between Argentina and England. Playing for Argentina, Maradona was desperate to break the score's 1-1 tie. While the referee saw a headbutt, Maradona actually smacked the ball into the net with his hand, an illegal play that could have cost them the game. Instead, Argentina won the game 2-1 and went on to win the World Cup. Maradona might have fooled the ref, but his foul play will live in infamy as one of the most controversial moments in soccer, or football, history. Number 5. Tanya Harding Tanya Harding wasn't exactly a superstar figure skater. Her highlights include a first-place finish in the U.S. Championship from 1990 to 1991 and a second-place finish in the World Championships in that same season. However, she only managed fourth in the Olympics and went downhill from there. She didn't just perform worse, she also got a bit dark in her quest for success. In 1994, Tanya and her ex-husband plotted a mafia-style attack on one of Harding's competitors, Nancy Kerrigan, in a practice session for the 94 U.S. Championship. The attack was caught on video and shows Nancy being hit in the kneecap. But that didn't stop her. Kerrigan went on to play second at the Olympics that year, while Harding placed eighth and Harding never returned to the sport. Cheating ruins sports for everyone, and even though physically assaulting a fellow competitor is a terrible way to cheat, 
there's an even worse entry at the top of our list. Stay tuned to see who it is. Number 4. Tom Brady This one is a bit controversial. In 2015, the Patriots cheated their way to a scandal dubbed Deflategate. During the AFC Championship game against the Colts, officials found that 11 out of the 12 balls the Patriots provided for the game were underinflated to provide better grip. As a result, Brady received a four-game suspension that was later overturned by a federal judge. The Patriots were also involved in two additional scandals involving the tapping of rival teams, making this issue even more complicated. Either way, the NFL changed the way they monitor football pressure as a result of this scandal. So do you believe that Brady cheated? Or was he innocent? Let us know below. Number 3. Lance Armstrong Not only did Armstrong have immense success in the sport of cycling, his story was powerful and inspiring. He battled cancer, and people all around the world looked up to him. Lance won a record seven Tour de France titles before USADA concluded he had used performance-enhancing drugs throughout his entire career. Fans couldn't believe the allegations, but all doubts were put aside when he confessed to the world on Oprah. Lance was stripped of his seven titles and received a lifetime ban from the sport. Number 2. Mike Tyson Most of the time, cheaters will be sneaky and try to get away with cheating. They want to celebrate victory while fooling the world. But Tyson had something else in mind when he famously cheated in his boxing rematch against Evander Holyfield. In their first match, the nearly unstoppable juggernaut Tyson ended up losing the World Heavyweight Championship belt. In their rematch, Tyson was reduced to going for the clinch repeatedly to avoid taking damage. And in round three, Tyson bit Holyfield's ear on live television. Doctors cleared Holyfield, and the fight continued until the end of the round when Tyson bit Holyfield's other ear and was disqualified. Tyson's boxing license was revoked for a year, and the whole event cost Tyson over $6 million in fines and fees. Number 1. Almost the entire Spanish Paralympics team The Paralympics are great events that give disabled people the chance to compete in the sports they love. It's a ray of hope for some, and it represents how sports bring us all together. But flashback to the year 2000, when the Spanish basketball team not only disgraced the sport of basketball, they also exploited disabled people for fame and money. The team of 12 players was composed of 10 perfectly normal athletes who failed IQ tests on purpose to be cleared to play. The team went on to win gold before being stripped of the title once a journalist leaked the story. It gets worse. The 10 cheaters even ruined the careers of the two remaining players with actual disabilities on the team, who were banned from competing for the next two Summer Paralympics as a result of the scandal. It certainly doesn't pay to cheat. These athletes will certainly live on in infamy as a result of their exposed cheating. Which athlete did you think was the worst? Let us know in the comments below. Every like on this video is a reminder to fair play, so leave a like to show that you want clean sports action. And be sure to subscribe for more awesome content just like this.